I was really excited to um, to start this year with, with the addition of some of these brain-based interventions. What it really did was help sort of um, lend some credence to uh, you know some of the things we were already doing, and that was really encouraging. Um, you know, so for instance, you know, if I took a kid for for a long walk, um, you know, I always knew that that was helpful to a kid, but I didn't understand like the brain science behind it. Definitely the walking. That has been one thing that I think the students will quickly say, it helps me just to calm down. It helps me to collect my thoughts. And sometimes they don't use those words exactly, uh, like collecting thoughts, but they will say, I just need a couple minutes, you know, and so they can walk off their frustration. They seem to sometimes talk um, more open to talking while they're walking versus if they're just sitting, and sometimes I think they feel stuck when they're sitting inside the resolve room where if they can get out in the open, they feel like um, they're more free to be able to um, not look at someone straight on, but be able to walk alongside someone, and it kind of frees them up just to have a conversation. I have another girl who, who wasn't in my group, but who has um, now consistently been using the track um, for in place of timeouts, uh, which has been really helpful for her. Um, she'll go out and walk on the track or sit on the swing for five minutes, and that for her is, you know, able to, to help her manage and cope in the classroom and then um, be more successful back in class. I'm a very tactile person, and so like, especially these like squishy kind of, I don't know, rubbery kind of things, they really help because it gives your hands something to do and you're not as nervous and you're not focusing on what you're doing, you're more focused on what you should be doing. So they really help a lot. I can't like focus on some like doing something with my hands. Like if I'm writing then I'm fine, but like I really like like the squishy things, the squishy balls, that flower and them. Sometimes I think the fidgets, even without the kids saying so, are kind of helpful in like uh, pre-test um, situations and the um, pulse oximeters have been helpful when the kids know that we're going to be doing, um, you know, using them like at special equestrians or uh, one of the students was involved in yoga the other day and we did um, use the oximeter and she dropped like 10 points from the time she began the yoga and at the end she dropped 10 which was really good and then we had another young girl who did the meditation group and her, her um, pulse dropped like about 8 points. Without it, I'm very distracted as to like more to my surroundings like if someone's chewing loud it bothers me or if you know someone's looking at me or something like that I get stressed out but if I have one then I'm more focused on you know my work and stuff like that because like now I'm more secluded in my own area because I have something to keep me I guess distracted in my own way in, in a good way. If we were you know kind of addressing some of these more basic needs of of our kids um, that it was easier to then get to um, them opening up. I've heard students talk about that and um, actually will now ask for it. Can I walk on the track a couple minutes, you know, before I have to talk about that issue and we're actually instituting some plans with kids where they automatically have a pass to go to the track and walk before they have to resolve, you know, or walk before they go to a really difficult class. When we got, you know, training on that and sort of what it was doing for our kids, you know, and how, how it affected heart rate and how that then, you know, in turn kind of affected sort of their brain states, you know, that was just, that was really cool. It was cool to see. It was encouraging. 